Tonight we're dining at Disney's most expensive buffet restaurant in Disneyland Paris' Disneyland Hotel, the Royal Banquet. So yes, the Disneyland Hotel opened not so long ago, reopened I should say, with a complete new theming, a royal theming, and with it came two brand new restaurants, newly themed restaurants at the Disneyland Hotel, one of them being the Royal Banquet, which is the buffet restaurant here. It costs 100 euros per adult, which is, like I said, the most expensive Disney buffet to ever exist. And then the other one is Lumiere's Table, which we will check out in a separate video. But tonight, we're going to be at the Royal Banquet. It's a character buffet. You get to meet Mickey, Minnie, sometimes Donald, sometimes Goofy, sometimes Pluto in their royal outfits, which is why I'm wearing a little princess hat over here with my ears. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, 100 euros, that is a lot. I know that character buffets generally cost a bit more than regular buffets anyway, but the 100 euros is still very, very expensive. So let's go inside and see what it's like. Hi, Mickey. Good to see you. Oh, thank you so much, Pluto. Lovely to see you. You like my ears? Yeah, I can't wait to see you later in the restaurant. <laughs> see you in a bit. So as I mentioned, the Royal Banquet restaurant is one of the two restaurants at the Disneyland Hotel in Paris. It's the buffet option. It's on the second floor of the Disneyland Hotel. The right-hand side has La Table de Lumière, which is a table service restaurant, also extremely expensive. And the buffet restaurant is on the left-hand side, the Royal Banquet, which is a character option. Hi, Pupi. <laughs> you look beautiful. I can't wait to chat to you a little bit later. <laughs> See you later, Pupi. I love you. Oh my god, I need the best. I love my man. So we are being taken to our table and look at this, look at this room. They've got a few different rooms here at the Royal Banquet, which used to be called Inventions here. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Do you want to go? I know you enjoy that. Oh, what I've noticed already is that it is gorgeous, this restaurant. They've got so many beautiful royal portraits here of different Disney families all around it. And I think every room will be different as well. Look at that. Look at this tapestry of Merida and her family. This is stunning. So many different portraits. Tiana's family over there. But we've also got a fantastic view here when you come to the windows. So this is literally the entrance to the park. Now because it's dark and the reflection isn't helping, you may not be able to tell very well, but this is the Disneyland Paris station. This is where the train will go through. This is the entrance of the park. Like literally you walk through the hotel, you go under the train station down there too, and then you're in the park. You can even see the top of the castle. So fantastic fantastic views from this beautiful restaurant and like I said it's nighttime right now our reservation is from 9 30 p.m. 21 30 so quite a later one but if we'd come here in the afternoon or when it was uh, lunchtime then you'd probably be able to see the outside even better because the park is currently closed now our lovely server for the evening Ryan just told us that this room is a family room which is why you can see so many family portraits of different Disney characters around me and it's stunning but there's four different rooms one of them is the family one of them sidekicks one of them I think he said villains and the last one I can't remember so we are going to check those out of course but Minnie is here so I think she's going to be one of the first characters that we meet obviously I did bump into Goofy earlier as well Hannah's just gone to get her food <sighs> overwhelmingly beautiful and this is my first time wearing these ears actually I got them I want to say a few years ago 2020 or 2021 from Shop Disney never had a chance to wear them but I felt like today was the perfect evening for it and I thought I could show you the layout of the table as well because the cake mats are stunning very subtly detailed with the royal theming look at that Cinderella's slipper over there we've got the napkins and the glasses as well have the logo of the newly reopened Disneyland Hotel so yeah it's all about the details and I love it so with the price of the buffet you also get one soft drink included my friend Hannah decided to go for a coke I went for my usual apple juice and again look at this trinket over here love the details on it oh Hannah's back and Minnie's about to come yeah look at her oh hi Minnie how are you I'm just taking some photos thank you you love yeah you love my <laughs> little princess thing yours is much better darling don't you worry you look phenomenal <laughs> how are you how's mickey i'm excited to meet you all tonight oh my god your crown is stunning beautiful beautiful crown is it okay for me to quickly show it to the camera as well look at you you look so cute <laughs> so cute wow look at the detail this is like a magical mirror and it's telling you you are stunning you are beautiful look at the top. yes work 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 it pose pose <laughs> It's beautiful, the details. You should be on a fashion, like, you know, a model. <laughs> Red carpet is the word. That's it. Oh, yes, get that mascara on. <laughs> Look at you. 
<laughs> oh, oh my god, Minnie. <laughs> Daisy would be proud at this point. <laughs> oh. Oh. You are so cute, Minnie. So lovely to see you tonight. And thank you so much. Yeah, I try my best to be as beautiful as you. <laughs> thank you, Minnie. Oh, so yeah. Thank you so much, Minnie. Yeah. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> You are royalty at its best. I mean, that was fun. <laughs> okay, well, that was a phenomenal first meet. She's loving life. Yeah. She's loving life. <laughs> and you seem to be loving life as well. Your starters? Look at this. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. How was the selection from what you saw? Yeah, great for yeah. me, which is amazing. Phenomenal. So, Hannah, in case you're new to the channel, she is mainly plant based. Um, and so sometimes buffets can be a bit difficult, but so far she seems to have found quite a, quite a lot of things that are good, which is exciting. But Minnie, wow, what a gorgeous mouth she is. Thank you so much. My true pleasure. Thank you. We've got some water coming as well. Thank you. Beautiful. On that note though, I'm going to go and have a look at the buffet myself. I'm very much looking forward to it. This buffet used to be very popular back in the day when it was called Inventions before Disneyland Hotel's new renovations. And we were told that the starters start here on the right hand side of the buffet. So you can see quite a lot of salad options, cherry tomatoes, there's different condiments and sauces, actually quite a lot. Some more salad options, carrots, olives. There's just a lot going on here. Salads, some hams. Oh my God. I hope you guys can get a good understanding of the options available here. It's gonna take me a while to go through everything separately. So I'm just gonna show it to you. Wow, look at that. Jambon here as well, full on ham, <laughs> huge. And you can get a cut of it, I suppose, if you wish to. But yeah, everything looks pretty fresh to me as well. And I love the details again with the artworks. I think now I remember Brian, our lovely cast member, said that this room is the chef's room. So in the background, you'll be able to see portraits of different Disney chefs, like Dahlia over there from the new Disney movie Wish, who I absolutely love. Anyway, carrying on, here we seem to get to the children's section, I think, just based on the fact that it's a little bit lower, perhaps. But they have some fish, uh, mini fish fingers over here. They've got some chicken over here as well some yellow and green uh, pasta with tomato sauce what's that one some vegetables here so this is definitely a vegetarian option some beef some rice the standard mickey pomme de terre the mickey hash browns you've got some more beef here in fact i think this is just for everybody it's not just the children's uh, section it's just a continuation of the buffet so anybody can help themselves but there are some good options for children here we seem to have some nice fish options here crushed potatoes with olive oil this looks lovely oh my god look at that jambalaya and it makes total sense because obviously we're in a royal hotel and tiana jambalaya and i tried jambalaya for the first time at pim kitchen a couple of years ago loved it this one definitely looks better we've got some champignon which is mushrooms some more chicken over there and some nice cuts of of meat here as well this is called the royal what is re-roasted ham which is currently being prepared very nicely Oh lordy, the options are endless, as you can see. It's making me very hungry. And then in this middle section, we seem to have a lot of seafood. So if you're a seafood lover, then this buffet will be your heaven. They've got plenty of things, oysters, fish. They've got some whelk over here. Look at that. So many different options for seafood lovers over here. And again, the portrait on the back is lovely. Smoked mackerel, some smoked salmon, of course. There is just a lot of Mickeys over here as well, constantly, but yeah, very impressive for all you seafood lovers out there. And you can come back for as much as you want to, it's an all-you-can-eat buffet, so already I feel like the price is kind of making sense. The dessert section is the last bit, which is over here. I've decided to show that to you a little bit later on. I'm going to get my starter and some main courses, and then I'll come back and show you some of the desserts, because the desserts actually look really good too. All right then, well I've got my first plate. I decided to go for some jambalaya, quite a lot of it actually, because it's chicken thighs and it just looks excellent. Some of the crushed potatoes with olive oil as well, there you can see some of it under there. And then uh, lamb leg, I think it said. So I feel like it's a good mixture of things. And Hannah's currently enjoying her food. Tiana makes jambalaya, doesn't she? Yeah. Oh, she, he's stressing me out. Oh my god. This is the problem with buffets though. Like, Goofy's just there behind me, you know, meeting another family behind us. And I just don't want him to see me with food in my mouth because I want to make a good impression. And I think he's here. <laughs> Hello, Goofy. 
Oh, you like my ears? Yeah. Yeah, you've got you've got a good. You, in fact, your hat, I have to say, even better than mine. Look at the feather. Very, very royal. <laughs> Oh, love, wow. What a handsome prince you are. And I love the details on your outfit. Look at that. So, so cool. Goofy, can we get the photos? Thank you so much. Thank you. Look at that. Oh! That was tired. <laughs> oh my god. No, don't scare you. Scared you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Thank you, Goofy. Lovely to see you. You're the best. You're the best. Okay. I'll bring yours next time, of course. Yeah, yeah, I know. Donald, it should have been you. I, I know. Yeah. I promise. Donald's no longer number one. Why not? It's all about Goofy. Bye. Oh, Pluto. Hello. Do you like my um ears? I love your hat. It is stunning. I love how you scared my friend earlier. You made him let her jump and that was phenomenal. I love it. <laughs> Mickey! You look beautiful. I adore your outfit tonight. It's phenomenal. So, so, so royal. Saw Minnie earlier, she looks stunning as well. Pluto scared my friend and that was funny, but I know you would never do that. You're more gentle. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to be here. You're so cute. Thank you so much. Can we get some photos? You like my hat as well? Yeah, sorry. I'm just going to position this here for a second. Okay, so our interactions so far have been very long. Um, they spend a lot of time with you, all four of them have. So I think Mickey and Minnie are always here and then it rotates between Goofy and Pluto and sometimes Donald and Daisy. So tonight we had Goofy and Pluto. How are you finding the character me so far? Oh, so cute. They're so fun so as well. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Mickey was adorable. That would be kind of finished off with yeah. Mickey. Yeah. Mickey was a anyway. We are. I'm hungry, so I want to continue eating. I've not even eaten. I've not even put anything. In, I had my bite ready. I've not eaten it yet. So it has gone cold, but that's my own fault. The jambalaya is delicious, though. The actual chicken, chicken thigh, the spices they've used for it. Kiana's done a fantastic job. So I'm probably going to go and get some more. But I do rate it. I'm going to try a little bit of the mashed potato now. The potato, a crushed potato. It was called with olive oil. Mm, that's delicious wow very very flavorful i'm not normally a fan of mashed potato to be honest like i eat it but i don't it's not my favorite type of potato this is not necessarily mashed potato it's more like crushed similar kind of vibe though and it tastes delicious and i actually think hannah's gonna go and check but i think this might be plant-based because it's just potatoes and olive oil unless they put some butter in it so definitely if you are vegan and plant-based obviously i am not uh, so I can't, you know, be completely sure about the comments that I make in these videos, especially when it comes to buffets. But what I would advise you if you're coming to a buffet restaurant in any Disney park, specifically Disneyland Paris, and if you're very strictly plant-based, then definitely check uh, the allergy menu. So ask for the allergy menu when you come, and then you can see the list of ingredients used for every single option, and then you can make wise choices. But it's definitely vegetarian, and it's definitely beautiful. Lastly, let's have some of the lamb. Oh my god! Wow, that lamb was, it was tender, that first bite, it was so soft, it melted in my mouth, so soft and delicious, like, I did not expect that at all, normally I'm not the type of person to go for, like, loads of meat options when I go to buffet restaurants, because I feel like, because it's a buffet, then the quality may not be very good for meat, um, but, let's see if my second bite is good, it is, that is a really good lamb, and it was a last minute decision to pick one up, you know, there was only one left and I decided to just try it and I'm glad I've got literally this huge piece of lamb on my plate. Everything I've had so far, the crushed potatoes, the jambalaya which was amazing and the lamb have been amazing so really happy with the quality of the food already. My friend Hannah loved her starter, she said the salad was very fresh, she's just gone to get her second plate now for her main courses. Character interactions have been really good as well as you guys hopefully would have seen. 
this is good and this is coming from somebody who I got to come here at least I think th three or four times when it was Inventions uh, before 2020 and I was never the biggest fan of Inventions I thought it was fine but I didn't necessarily think it was any better than Cafe Mickey in Disney Village or any other character meals that I'd been to I didn't think it was necessarily worth the price so far from what I'm seeing I think this is definitely better than Inventions this is Hannah's food her second plate that giant cauliflower is amazing oh my god the mushrooms look really good as well it looks so good right yeah there you go, she's just taking a photo of it. I'm still enjoying my jambalaya. Oh, hi again. <laughs> right, I am not done with the main courses yet. I still want some savoury food. But before I do that, I thought I would quickly show you the desserts because there are plenty of options for desserts as well. I know loads of you guys are sweets lovers. So we've got some apple tartlets over here. We've got some hazelnut and almond desserts over here. Those, those look good. Some lemon meringues. This isn't personally my thing. I don't like lemony flavored things. Mini palette chocolate au lait. Oh, these are beautiful actually. Different uh, chocolates like white chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate. And with the logo of the uh, hotel again, with the Royal Tea logo. Very, oh my God, we've got beignets. And it actually does say here, Tiana's famous beignets. So that's cool. And they look very nice and powdery as well. We've got the macarons with some crowns on them. Very, very nice. Right next to the beignets, we've got actual Tiana desserts as well. Look at that. They are stunning. It's a Bayou dessert. It says chocolate blanc, puree de cassis and biscuit. So very much um, like a mousse type thing. Some Captain Hook desserts over here, which seem to have been very popular. Here we've got the Enchanted Rose. And that is stunning as well. Oh, wow. Raspberry tartlet. Look at them. They look just so pretty. Everything looks stunning. Crown jewel over here. Look at the colors. Look at these. The Bibbidi Bobbidi Mascarpone and Pumpkin Puree dessert over here. They are beautiful. Look at them. They're so cute. You got some fruits as well over here. Some more macarons. And then these roses, enchanted roses, which are vanilla, red berry dessert, and almond biscuits. They've been very popular too and are oh, probably my favorite just in terms of the theming. We finally got some Pocahontas representation. Colors of the wind, it says. Pineapple, coconut, apricot dessert and coconut biscuit. And it's just the colors of the wind. Different, different colorful leaves. Mickey, it's good to see you again. <laughs> the food has been amazing, by the way. Have you tried some of it? It's delicious. It's so good and beautiful as well. I love it. It's stunning. See you around. <laughs> I thought I would quickly show you the other rooms as well. So the carpet looks lovely here. Oh, wow. They've got a selection of cheeses here that I completely missed. So there you go. And look at the breads here. Again, nicely detailed. Oh my God, I might have to get some cheese. Like, even when it comes to desserts, even though I saw all those beautiful desserts that we just saw, dessert-wise, I also prefer things like that are savory, like cheese rather than cakes and whatnot. But yeah, this is stunning. Oh my God, this is like a full-on charcuterie situation going on here. Very, very, very cool. And the portraits up there, this seems to be the animal room, the sidekicks, I suppose. And they definitely did not have to do this. But I love that Disney decided to even dedicate a whole room in their Royal Banquet Buffet to the loving animals and sidekicks. And this room looks gorgeous, actually. So look at that chandelier in the centerpiece. And then up there is like the ceiling is mirrored so you can see yourself. Can you see me over there? I'm just waving at you guys. Oh, this is cool. This is very, very majestic, very royal. And again, so many different portraits around the room. So cool. So many beautiful things to look at as you're eating. There's just too many things happening, you know, it's overwhelming. I feel like I'm following a full-on princess. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> right, Minnie, I'm going to get some more food. See you later. Merci. Were you waiting for me, Goofy? I'm sorry I was getting food. As much as I love you and you are my absolute favorite, I know I'm wearing mini ears and Mickey, but that's because that's the only ears I've got. I need to get some ears to represent you. Because you are, everyone knows as well. Here, you're my favorite. Goofy's my boy. <laughs> I just, I was hungry. But I'm so glad to see you again. <laughs> so this is what happened when I was away. I had a fun date with what, both Mickey and Goofy. Yeah, I and they said they were going to have an archery competition. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> nice. I love that photo of you. So um, but this is my second plate. I decided to get some more of the crushed potatoes. I went for, this is like a chicken with wine uh, sauce, something like that. Um, there was a chef there who asked me if I wanted some uh, ham as well, like some full 
pork as well that he gave me a cut of and I was like why not he gave me some sauce with it too saffron rice some mushrooms some aioli sauce like it's all very random but I just get overwhelmed with food and the fact that Goofy and the rest of the gang are here so I just tried a little bit of the chicken in wine sauce impressed definitely impressed I'm, I'm chicken's my favorite meat and chicken thigh is my favorite part of a chicken and everything chicken well most of the things chicken that I've seen on the buffet here are thighs they did have some chicken strips as well so if that's your preference if you prefer white uh, meat then you can go for that but this is what I'm having right now is definitely chicken thigh in wine sauce and it's excellent it really really is let's have some of the actual ham here mm. I'm not a big fat ham person but when the when the chef asked me I just felt like I had to oh my god Minnie's there as well Minnie's literally there but yeah because a, a cast member asked if I wanted some I was like you know what why not I, was, I asked him if it was good and he said yes and it is good it's just not my favorite thing to eat but it, it, you know in terms of pork and hams that I've had it actually is really delicious the sauce that comes with it as well it's quite tangy it gives it more of a flavor oh god oh god Good to see you again, Minnie. <laughs> Have you had some food as well? It's delicious. It's delicious. <laughs> Marvelous. <laughs> oh, stunning. Stunning. <laughs> Thank you. You're so cute. Thank you so much, Minnie. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> Royal cute. So cute. Thank you. Thank you, Minnie. Hi. Oh, this is cute. Look at all the Should we, should we blow kisses together? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye. The food is amazing. The cats are amazing. You're amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Just wanted to let you know that, Brian. Thank you so much. Um, oh, thank you. The pleasure is ours. Last but not least, I'm going to have some of the mushrooms. Have them with the mushrooms nice. You had some. Yeah. And the saffron rice, which is vegetarian. They are lovely. And I feel like that's the word of the night. Everything is just lovely. It's nice. It's beautiful. It's stunning. It's delicious. It's overwhelming. It's Hannah saying it's delightful. I don't know if you just heard that. What is it, Hannah? It's delightful. Perfect. Oh, Pluto! Did not expect to see you again. Good to see you. Oh, cute. <laughs> You're so cute. Thank you for coming by. Love you. <laughs> Right. Thank you. But you're nice, so you're happy for her to support Donald as well. Yeah, Goofy was a little bit jealous. <laughs> oh, you're, you're, you're okay. You're unsure as well. I see, Mickey. You prefer my ears today. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> but you just send, you just send your love to Donald. Of course, yes. Yeah. Always. <laughs> oh, quack quack. <laughs> well, Mickey, it's been an, ama an amazing night. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Minnie, you've made our night. You all have. Look at her. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see or not, but there are some people doing some works to the Disneyland at Paris train station at the entrance right now, because obviously the park closed a couple of hours ago. And Disneyland Paris, as with any other Disney park, is a park that is open every single day of the week, year. So, you know, they have to take advantage of the times that the park is closed to do some works. And you can see the top of the castle as well, hopefully with the, the glary window. I'm trying my best here. It is difficult. But I do want to say that this has definitely been one of the best character movies I've ever been to. And I never felt this way when I came to when it was in Legends. Like I said, I used to think it was overrated, yet tonight has blown me away absolutely like of course this is the most expensive buffet that Disney has ever done we're talking all the parks worldwide by the way Florida California the like Asian ones Disneyland Paris is Royal Banquet restaurant here and the Disneyland Hotel is the most expensive Disney buffet ever at a hundred euros that is expensive but the food quality was excellent the choice I thought was really really good I managed two plates and I'm still hoping to get some dessert at some point and it's very rare for me to like genuinely feel sad that I just don't have any more space like I wish I could go back for some of my favorites that I've already had I wish I could go and try some more food just from the main courses because the, everything was so delicious so good and even though some of the items I had called and it wasn't anybody's fault it was my fault it was the characters coming around and obviously us spending time with them before eating the food was even good cold and that's saying a lot so 
extremely impressed. It is definitely the best buffet at Disneyland Paris right now in terms of food quality alone, but obviously throw in the character element as well and it makes it absolutely one of the best, if not the best here at Disneyland Paris. You absolutely scared me, Pluto. <laughs> Did you know that I was looking at a photo of you? It's a nice photo of us. Look, it's when you met us earlier me and my friend and I was just like look I was about to post it to loads of people Pluto just scared me very gently I love that thank you so much for not making me fully jump I did kind of jump still though didn't I <laughs> you're amazing Pluto thank you <laughs> he kind of made me jump as well oh my and, God, and fun fact it. I was literally just showing I was just like looking through the photos oh, and as I was doing that yeah, yeah. it's, it's been phenomenal <laughs> amazing thank you so much thank you Bye! <laughs> the overwhelm never ends. Well, our phenomenal waiter, Brian, is here. And I just wanted to give a massive thank you to you. You've thank made you. our night even more special. You really have. Everyone's been amazing here. Thank so thank you, you so much. Thank you. So we've got our desserts and there is a lot of options. The rose is like a jelly. It's so, wait. Yeah, like wiggles. <laughs> Anna's wiggling the rose. It is stunning. Everything feels quite light as well. Um, one of the cast members actually helped me put this on my plate because I was really worried. I really wanted to look nice and he, he laughed. He was like, he was looking at me doing it and I was like, can you please help me? I just don't want it to get ruined. And he was like, of course. Um, I got a beignet as well. I've got, I got one of the chocolate things. Um, these pumpkin Cinderella's. Did you see the pumpkin Cinderella's as well? They're so cute. Everything is so beautiful. So I've tried a little bit of all the desserts that I picked up as well and everything tasted really really nice. Despite me not being the biggest fan of desserts that are not chocolate or coffee flavoured, like fruity desserts I just don't really like too much but even so, I really enjoyed everything that I tried. The rose was lovely. Um, Pocahontas's leaf um, was quite nice as well. My favorite was probably the beignet, actually. I just really enjoy beignets, and it was nice. Sweet, but not overly sweet. In fact, every single dessert that I tried, I felt like was very light, because a lot of them are like mousse, or just the way they're made doesn't feel very heavy. It just gives you the opportunity to try a bunch of things without feeling very heavy, which is definitely a nice bonus. So yeah. 10 out of 10 with the desserts as well. <laughs> Who knew you were such a good dancer, Goofy? Many I knew, but not sure about you. Look at that. What a man. Oh, beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys are adorable. <laughs> oh my God, that's so cute. Oh, thank you. Oh, you want the... Okay. <laughs> this is brilliant. With that being said, though, our bill has arrived and I love these little booklets with the Disneyland Hotel logo on them as well. And this is the most expensive buffet restaurant at Disney ever, <laughs> all parks included. And the total price came to, even with my annual pass, what do you think, Hannah? Actually, it's not bad. So, I, because we obviously got so with those two of us, 100 each, 180 dollar uh, euros. So we got about 20 euros off altogether. I think obviously this water was charged as well because you only get one soft drink uh, per person. With that being said, though, Minnie the fashionista, who we literally saw tonight as well, and she's on my watch too, is telling us that it's currently about uh, 17 minutes past 11 p.m. So the restaurant should be closing very soon, meaning that I can go and have a look at the very last room that we haven't checked out yet. Yeah, this is the villain's room that uh, the lovely cast member, our waiter, Brian, was telling us about. So we've got the evil queen over there, the queen of hearts, and oh, the latest latest villain from Wish. I'm actually not going to say much about him just in case you haven't seen the film yet. Look at the castle over there. Can't get over it. Honestly my dream is to stay at the castle club here at the Disneyland Hotel one day. Who knows when I'll be able to but even just tonight being here, staying in the deluxe room, coming to this restaurant and just seeing this hotel back open again and don't forget with the Royal Banquet it's the only restaurant of the two here at the Disneyland Hotel where 
even if you're not staying at the Disneyland hotel, you can book it, but only for lunch. So as long as you're staying in a Disney hotel, so an official Disney hotel, meaning Santa Fe, Cheyenne, Sequoia Lodge, and Newport Bay, and obviously in the Marvel Hotel as well, Hotel New York, if you're staying there, you will have the option to book lunch reservations, but you can't come here for dinner. Dinner is exclusive to guests who are staying at the Disneyland hotel, and the other restaurant, La Table de Lumière, which we'll check out tomorrow, is also exclusive to Disneyland hotel guests at the moment for the time being. Uh, this is standing from January of 2024. Things may change, of course. Before this hotel reopened, anybody could come to these, you know, restaurants. This is why I was able to come to Inventions a number of times, despite not always staying at the Disneyland Hotel. So maybe that's something that they will bring back. But I think with the really high prices that they're currently charging at this hotel, um, it's nice to have something, you know, be a bit more exclusive to just guests of this hotel. I think that's what they're trying to do, at least for this initial period, because the guests that are staying here are paying quite a bit of money like it's the prices have really raised um but that's just the hotel itself if you want to know more about the hotel the hotel tour the other restaurants room tours things like that then make sure you subscribe or check out some of my previous videos this restaurant itself the royal banquet exceeded my expectations really really impressed me i had such a wonderful time in the past couple of hours that my friend hannah and i spent here cast members were amazing every single person we came across mickey mini goofy and pluto came around so many times so despite this being so expensive at 100 euros per adult it's a lot you really do get your money's worth i feel like the characters especially really try and make it um, worthwhile for you by constantly coming to you you know being so fun loads of photo opportunities like visiting you constantly so that you really do feel like you had a really special time with them and in terms of the dining rooms i feel like the room that we were at was actually my favorite with the family portrait so this is the buffet room i feel like this room can be probably quite chaotic if you're sitting here because people are coming to get their food from the buffet and then you're just kind of sat here although if you're by the table you'll have really lovely views of the castle which you can get a little peek of over there so that's i suppose a bonus of it just bear in mind it can become a little bit stressful with just there being too many people trying to grab food, meet characters, and eat food at the same time. But that's to be expected of almost any Disney character buffet experience. And just like that, we have left the Royal Banquet restaurant here at the Disneyland Hotel back into this beautiful area, which if you want to see more of, then make sure you subscribe to the channel or check out my full tour of the hotel. But yeah, that is it from the review of the Royal Banquet here at the Disneyland Hotel. I hope you enjoyed it. We certainly did. We really enjoyed our meal. Everything about it was top notch, 10 out of 10. Really good character interactions, especially, but the food quality was what really surprised me because I knew the character interactions were going to be good. Food quality was, was definitely, definitely exceeded my expectations. And of course, the cast members working there were all fantastic as well. So that is it for the Royal Banquet restaurant over there. What did you think of it, Hannah? It was delicious. Yeah. Lovely atmosphere. Highlights? Um, you guys say Goofy and <laughs> Mickey. <laughs> The food and the characters. Yeah, everything was really, really good. Um, so yeah, let us know in the comments down below any questions that you have. I'll try my best to answer. Have you booked to come here? Even if you're staying in another Disney hotel, like I said, you can come here for lunch. It is priced 100 euros for adults for dinner and 50 euros for children. So it is expensive, like I said. But with that being said, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you so much for coming along the journey with us. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.